Soft and saturated soils are commonly encountered on construction sites, especially in coastal or reclaimed areas. These soil types often contribute to problems such as settlement, instability, and even failure. To evaluate these risks, it is essential to determine the soil's shear strength, which is the ability of soil to resist deformation due to sliding and failure. There are various methods for testing the shear strength of soil, one of which is the field vein shear test. Field vein shear test is an in situ test that measures the undrained shear strength of cohesive soils, particularly soft and sensitive clays. And here at GPI, we perform this test according to ASTM D2573 standards, using the GeoNOR H10 field vein shear borer. This H10 system has two main components, the vein borer and the readout instrument. The lower part, or vein borer, has a four-bladed steel vein, typically in sizes 55 mm by 110 mm or 65 mm by 130 mm. The size depends on the soil. Larger veins for stresses up to 60 kPa, smaller ones for up to 100 kPa. The upper part, on the other hand, is the readout instrument which uses a dial to display torque. A crank is used to apply rotation, while red and white pointers indicate readings. So, how does it work? Before heading to the site, the readout instrument must be calibrated. It is usually done yearly or after major repairs by applying known weights to a moment arm to simulate torque. The corresponding values are then recorded to generate a calibration curve. This ensures accurate conversion of field readings into equivalent undrained shear strength values. For the actual field procedure, the lower section of the vein borer is first prepared. It is composed of the vein protected by a tube, a cover tube, and the vein shoe. Next, one meter rods and outer pipes are attached continuously to the vein borer which is inserted progressively until the bottom of the selected pre-drilled hole is reached. Once the vein rests atop the clay surface, it is pushed 0.35 to 0.5 meters deep with minimal disturbance. The crank is then turned at two revolutions per second, causing the spring housing to rotate at 0.2 degrees per second. The maximum torque is read using the white pointer while real-time values are read using the red pointer. To measure remolded shear strength, the vein is rotated 25 times, followed by continuous crank rotation at the same rate. The peak undrained shear strength is then calculated using this formula, and the sensitivity of soil is calculated as. The field vein shear test is essential for evaluating the shear strength of soft and saturated cohesive soils. Unlike laboratory-based methods, it provides data without retrieving the sample or simulating in situ stresses. It is also quick to perform on site, simple to operate, and ideal for soils where other tests are not applicable. From calibration to results, the field vein shear test delivers accurate and reliable data in the field because when it comes to uncertain ground, understanding starts with reliable data. Tested, verified, on site. Don't let the surface appearance of the earth mislead you. Let GPI unearth the facts.